Hi children, this is Deepika Bhaskar from GK Jain School. Today I am going to take class for 5th standard, subject science and the topic name is Human Brain. Before going to the session, please subscribe our YouTube channel, GK Jain Schools, so that you never miss any new updates from our school. We'll move on to the topic children, Brain. This is the picture of the brain. Can you see here? This major part is known as cerebrum and this is the cerebellum and this one is the brain stem. So there are three parts in the brain. So before going to that, I'll ask some questions to you people. For what purpose we are using our brain? To read, think and write. So, for any activity we have to do with the help of brain because our brain is the commanding center of our body. We use our brain to think, write and read. Our brain is fully covered with three layer membrane. The names of the three layer membranes are dura mater, Pia matter and arachnoid membrane. So dura matter, pia matter and arachnoid membrane. These three members are joined together and which is covered the brain. That is known as meninges. The three layers, names of these three layers which is covered by the brain is known as meninges. Brain consists of three parts. That is forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. Our human brain is kept in a bony case that is called as skull or cranium. That is called as skull or cranium. It is made up of eight immovable modes. The functional unit of brain is known as neuron. The functional unit of brain is known as Students, now we are going to see about the cerebrum. This is the major part of the brain. I will show you the picture here. From starts here. Can you see here? Four lobes are there. I will explain you later about these four lobes. So this is the cerebrum. So this is the big part of the brain. It is situated in the front side of the brain also. So it is also called as forebrain. Forebrain is also called as cerebrum. Our forebrain consists of three parts. They are cerebrum, thalamus and the hypothalamus. Here three parts are there in this forebrain. We can see three parts. They are cerebrum, thalamus and hypothalamus. Here the cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. Cerebrum is the center of the human nervous system. It is responsible for the intelligence, imagination and reasoning. Students, now we are going to see about the midbrain. Can you see here? This is the midbrain. This is the structure of the midbrain. It lies behind the cerebrum. It lies behind the cerebrum and it controls the movements of the muscles. It controls the movements of the muscles and it is responsible for the balancing of the body. Now we are going to see about the third part that is our hindbrain. 
which is connected to the spinal cord. A hindbrain which is connected to the spinal cord. It is also called as the brain stem. It is also called as brain stem. Pons and the medulla comprise together and it forms the hindbrain. This is known as the medulla oblongata is known as the vital knot of the body because it controls and regulates the heartbeat, breathing and other involuntary muscles. Students, now we are going to play a game. What you have to do now? You should say the color of the word, not read the word. We are going to say the color of the word. Anyone can say the color of this word? I am displaying some flashcards for you. You have to say the color of the word. Not to read the word. What is the color of this word? Anyone? Okay. Shall I change the next, next card? Okay. Shall Anyone? Okay. Let me tell you. This is the blue color. But you have to read it as orange, isn't it? Because our brain is having two parts, that is left and right side. So in these two sides, left brain insists to say the word, that means read the word. But your right brain is insists to say the color of the word. So that's why we are confusing. This is yellow. But it written as green. The next card is green. It is written in green color. So we have to use our right brain for the intelligence and intellectual activities also. The next is a purple. But it is written as black. Our left and right brain connected with the bunch of bundle of nerves. So that is called as carpus callosum. Again, I am repeating this one children. Our left brain and the right brain are connected with the bundle of nerve fibers. That is known as carpus callosum. Here, I already told you about the cerebrum. Isn't it? So in this cerebrum, there are four lobes are there. It, it consists of four lobes. That is, this lobe is called as frontal lobe. In the name itself, we can identify it is situated in the front. So, that is, it is called as frontal lobe. The next lobe is known as the parietal lobe. P-A-R-I-E-T-A-L. Parietal lobe. And the third lobe, that is called as temporal lobe. And the last one is known as occipital lobe. So frontal lobe controls the problem solving, attention, judgment and the behavior. The next one is the parietal lobe. It controls the senses like pain, reading and Understanding the statements also. Third one is the temporal lobe. It stores its memory in the brain as visual and auditory images. Fourth one is the occipital lobe. Recognition of colors, words and the movements. The tondal only regulates by the occipital lobe. Thank you children.